Hey, this is Mike Giarlo, and welcome to the latest Hydra in a Box demo video. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the work that we did in November and December leading up to the holiday break. You'll see here this is the main page of Haiku, uh, which is a new name that we chose late last year for the Hydra in a Box repository application. So, I'm going to start by just telling you a couple things about what we've been working on. So one thing that you can't see here, but that I want to note for those of you who've been following along the Hydra community discussions about architecture and componentry, we have uh, made some really, really great strides towards consolidating Sufia and curation concerns. And there's now a, a really early um, version of Hyrax, the successor gem, available. And so we are using Haiku to test um, Hyrax as an early adopter, and we've been actively using it for about four or five weeks now. And so we've been testing out the upgrade path from Sufia and just doing QA on it and fixing bugs, and that's coming along quite nicely. So what you'll be seeing here is the Haiku application built on top of Hyrax rather than Sufia. Also, we've been really engaged in contributing to the mediated deposit sprints, which I'd love to show you here, but I know that uh, Steve Van Tile at Oregon State is going to be doing a demo of that himself. So I'm going to let that demo speak for itself, and I will cover Hydra in a Box specific work. In addition, we have devoted some amount of time to uh, Fedora development proper, and a lot of that work has been focused on the import-export capabilities, which are, again, they're coming along really nicely. You can't see that in this demo, but uh, that work will be surfaced in the UI here once that's available. So with that out of the way, I want to go ahead and highlight a couple of the changes we've made. So now we have changed, when you go to the works drop down, there's a new work link. Instead of bringing you right to, if you have multiple curation concerns generated, or multiple work types you might want to call them generated, which we do here, we have one work type for generic work and one for image. This link will now take you to a modal. This UI here is a work in progress. We've got a ticket in here to, uh, to make some improvements to it. But for now, you can see it, it brings up a modal where you can select the type of work that you want to create. And you can see labels and descriptions of these work types. So you can click generic work and it'll take you to the very familiar form. I'm not going to click through that right now. I'm just going to go back to the home page. Another piece of work I wanted to show you is the internationalization work that we've been doing. I showed an early version of this a few demos ago, and I just wanted to let you know it's it's all in the master branch now. It's all available, and now there's the new UI looks like this. And when you click on Espanol you can see the UI translated into Spanish. There may be some missing labels throughout the site and some of the labels um, may need some additional QA to make sure that the Spanish used there is idiomatic but we have a ticket for that but for now the number of labels that are successfully internationalized is much higher than it was when I first showed this so I'm really happy with the community's support for internationalization which I only expect to grow. All right, now we're going to look at the administrative dashboard. Um, ignore that. I'm using a plugin to uh, make sure I can focus on work. So I'm going to refresh that and turn off the plugin. All right, I'm going to show you, let's see. So one change we've made is with the content blocks. These used to be all laid out. All the content blocks were laid out on the same page. Now they're in their own tabs, so you don't have to scroll down and look at lots of WYSIWYG text boxes. Now they're each on their own page. Uh, in addition, I want to show you a new, new setting that you can tweak. So right now we allow you to turn off and turn on proxy deposit and the ability to transfer works. These were a feature that came over from Sufia, and for folks coming over to Hyrax from curation concerns, we wanted to make sure that they could turn these off if they were not interested in those. 
In addition, we have a new system status page. There isn't much information here. However, right now, uh, you can see something really interesting, which is that Redis appears to be down in our instance. So rig that up so you can see that red. Um, and we'll be building more functionality into this over time. And then the last admin dashboard thing I want to show you is about the appearance of the site. So let me click back over. You can see in the header here, the nav bar image is kind of green and white. It's the Hyrax logo. I'm going to go ahead and select a new nav bar image. You can, you can tweak these over time so that you can change the look and feel of your site without having to override any code or you know jump down into any config files you can do it all right through the UI so now that that image is up I can click back over and it's not a really great image for this um, but you can see it has changed from being white and green to being blue so you see it working all right now I'm gonna go show you some work we've been doing on administrative sets so let's see the first thing I'll show you I'll click on the administrative sets submenu and this is what the the index page looks like from here you can create one and you can look at all the uh, admin sets you have already this is using data tables so all of these columns are sortable you can click through and sort them there we go see that working and from here I want to create a new admin set and show you what that looks like okay so this is a cool admin set and this is a description of my admin set I'm gonna save it that's an error I'm gonna go ahead and show you one that I just created beforehand because we're in the we've made a bunch of changes to this app and just pushed them so it could be our instance is still updating sorry about that but anyway I did create one just just in case that happens so once you create your admin set you'll notice there are some new tabs that become available in the form so one of them is a participants tab and this is where you can add managers for this admin set depositors to this admin set and viewers uh, specifically for the admin set so they'll come in and they'll have permissions for this admin set and you can do that with groups or with users you can see which roles are available right over here okay now for release and visibility they allow you to control uh, the release and visibility settings for any works that are added to your administrative set so you can do something like you can set no delay basically everything that goes into the admin set is released immediately you can allow the depositor to ha set when the the works are um, available when they become available so you can set an embargo period and with I'm gonna set that back to no delay and then with visibility you can you can dictate that every work that goes into this admin set is available you can say they're all restricted you can say they're all institution or you can just say it's basically preserving the the default behavior the default is public and depositors can do whatever they want so we're gonna go ahead and um, and give depositors the ability to do that now um, here's a new tab where you can select the workflow for an administrative set and there are two workflows that come along one of them is a default workflow which is the past Sufia and Hyrax behavior basically there's no mediation or you can turn on mediation I'm gonna turn on mediation for this workflow and you can see that working in the demo that the other folks are gonna be producing so that's it for now sorry for the delay we'll have a new video to you soon thank you